Now, this video does come in response to a Facebook post that we had in the Mallorca Under the Sun Facebook group, maybe about a week, week and a half ago, from someone asking about what it is like to holiday down here and if it gets very busy in the summer months. Now, this post did cause quite a, a lot of arguments actually on the page with people saying, no, it doesn't get busy. Yes, it does get busy. But I'm going to run through the pros and cons of staying here because while this resort is absolutely amazing, it might also not be quite the place for you to come on holiday. So let's weigh up the best and the worst points of holidaying in Calador. Now, without a doubt, you can see the absolute best point of holidaying over here in Calador, just by the beautiful turquoise blue water that you can see out here in front of me. Now, of course, we're down here in winter, but the color of this water does not change as we go through the year. It is beautiful and turquoise all the way through the year, and it's this crystal clear as well, making it absolutely perfect for swimming and perfect for snorkeling and for sailing too. Now these beaches down here in Calador, they are very narrow and they do run very deep. So if you don't get here very early in the morning and particularly if you're over here with a family and with very small children, then you may actually want to get that shoreline spot. You're going to find yourself being several meters away from the water's edge. Now, from what I saw last summer, I saw that many of the, the beach umbrellas actually had security boxes on them, which is fantastic news. So if you are going into the sea, then you can keep your valuable safe in these security boxes. Then once again, if you do not get down to the beach in time to secure one of these beach umbrellas with security boxes, or you don't get a shoreline spot either, you're running the risk of leaving your belongings on the sand as well, which given the current climate and the possibility of also being um, pickpocketed on the beach as well, maybe isn't great. However, you can also get yourself a waterproof phone case or bum bag and these are available in the Amazon Mallorca Under the Sun holiday shop. And also if you don't get here early then the chances are that you're going to be getting a spot on the sand that's actually quite far away from the sea too. So that might be a downside of holidaying here. Now that said you're not actually limited to sitting on the beach when you come down to many of these beaches over in Calador. And I'm down here on Calagran and many of these coves do have pathways running alongside the beaches here. So if you're prepared to walk along these little paths you can actually have your own little bathing platform too. And all along the coast here you can see steps leading on into the water and it just gets you off that main beach too I mean it is just absolutely gorgeous around here and look I can even see and we're we're in the beginning of February here someone jumping in for a swim Okay, so I'm just coming down through the centre of Calador where you're going to find the majority of the restaurants here. Now, during the summer months, this whole area is just awash with people. There's a great atmosphere. There's so many places to eat and to choose from as well. And it's largely pedestrianised. You don't get traffic coming by these restaurants. You just get people. And it's one of the only resorts actually on the island that has such a small concentration of restaurants in one place. Now, this is a pro and this is why so many people people do like coming here because during the summer months as well you're going to find the nightlife around here to be really lively and you're going to find it to be really good fun too. However that said I do find that down in Calador there is a slight lack of beachside restaurants because many of the beaches are so small and narrow like I've mentioned before you're going to find a lot of the, the restaurants are actually set back inland a little bit but if you do want to eat down by the water, then you're going to have a great choice of restaurants over at the marina. So if Calador just seems like too much of a busy resort for you to come to during the summer months, then do as I'm doing today while I'm filming this video and come and see us in winter. And you can see I'm down here in Cala Petita. And I practically have the entire little beach to myself. 
Now, I've just stopped off here in Calapatita because I am making a couple of videos today about Calazor, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell too, in case you're planning your holiday to this area because I have some more great, helpful information coming up in the future on my channel. Now, while I'm down here, we're going to talk about what transport is like getting around Calador. Now, honestly, I do find this resort to be very, very spread out amongst several very small yet very beautiful resorts. So if you are going to hire a car, then really coming to Calador is the place that you're really going to need to hire that car. Now the TIB bus network does run down here and there are major lines that run not only to the airport but also into Parma as well and over to Santanyi and also down to Calamondrago um, and you can also check out that video of a day trip that you can do from Calador and I'll put a link to that in the description text below too. However, one of the main ways that people do get around Calador is by the Ting Ting, the tourist train that runs here throughout the summer months. Now that normally doesn't start until around the 1st of May. So if you are coming out here before, then just bear in mind that it's going to be maybe a little bit harder to get around the resorts and the towns and you are going to have to be relying upon that TIB bus or you're going to have to be getting taxis too. Okay, so I've come down to Calador Marina to tell you all about the amazing things that you can do here in Calador and that really is a real pro for visiting this resort. Now I have made a video all about things to do in Calador, I shall link to that at the end of this video, there'll be a link in the description text below this video as well so make sure you check that out. But Calador Marina and Calador is a great place for water sports during the hot summer months and you may remember that we came down here last summer on a shared charter. It was on the Capelina. it's just moored a little bit further along the marina here but there's so much choice over here as well for boats to go out to go and see the dolphins, to go fishing, to learn to sail and just to go on cruises and excursions. Okay, so that said, if it does rain and the weather does turn over here, there doesn't seem to be that much to do over in Calador. Now, if you are a regular in Calador or you do live over here and you're watching this video, let me know the things that you do in the rain as well, apart from going to the bars and the restaurants. I'd, I'd love to know. But normally when it's raining on the island and the weather does turn, you do get a lot of tourists heading on into Palma, heading on to sightsee around the capital city. If you are over here in Calador, then that bus journey is going to take uh, roughly about maybe an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters. It's quite a distance by bus from Palmer City. Not so far if you're driving, you can get there in about an hour, 15 minutes roughly, depending on traffic too. But it is a little bit more cut off from other areas of the island than maybe some of the other resorts. Also as well, if you are going to base yourself down in Calador, then bear in mind as well, it's not just sightseeing in Palma, but it's maybe sightseeing in other areas of the island. So it's going to take a lot longer to get up to places like Soyer or Dea or over to the Southwest as well. So if you are coming to Calador, come to Calador, explore the local area around here and maybe come back for another Mallorca holiday in the future and go and check out those areas too. Because if you do come here on holiday, it's almost impossible to see the whole island in one trip. Now another pro for coming to holiday in Calador is that there's a huge supply of hotels down here. You're going to be absolutely spoilt for choice whether you want to go all inclusive half boards or you want to stay in a villa or, a par or an apartment block too. So this is really a purpose built resort. It's been built around tourism. It caters for tourism. So therefore it's a really fantastic place to come on holiday. However, one thing that is lacking slightly in Calador is any kind of old world charm that you may find in other areas of the island or just a little bit closer to some of the main resorts. Now of course this is quite a modern area, there is no central historic area around here, however there are some great little rustic old towns and there's some hidden gems in, in and around Calador so I'll be back here over the summer months and I'll be seeking those out for you if you do want to get a taste of old world Mallorca in the southeast of the island. 
Okay, so I hope this video has helped you to decide whether or not you would like to come to Calador in Mallorca this summer. Now, if you have been to the island before and you have been to Calador and I've missed something off from this video, please leave your opinion and your comment in comments below. I'd really like to know about it. However, if you're looking to visit some other area of the island as well that compares very differently from Calador, do check out this video appearing on YouTube just here. If not, don't forget you can find me on the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.